the baseboards. We're not sure about what kind of floor we want yet. I'm not sure about the baseboards because we don't know what kind of floor we want. Right. And just electrical for any ceiling, like a ceiling fan or light or anything. Mm -hmm. okay. You can get pre wire for electric. You're going to need to do the HVAC. We're getting in line for that while we're still stud wall. Mm -hmm. The gable is, I want to put another wall up there. On the inside. I don't want to go out past the uh, silver if I can help it. So I was thinking about just studding up a wall inside of this, just making the window a little bit deeper, and then putting in some extra insulation in there. Oh, you don't want to take this, this, this the metal or the mm -hmm. not on the gable edge. I got you. You don't want any rippers, do you? You do roof type work. Yeah. yeah. How how much would it be to put ridge beds up there? Okay, well, you can definitely get your price on there. Mm -hmm. Not much. Here's a quick answer. Okay. It won't. It won't this be. This stuff is designed to where it creates a flow, mm -hmm. the longer after end. But right now, it has no escape. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And the gable is in enough, so. We can put a ridge vent in there, it would yeah. help keep the whole thing cooler. I've read that ridge vents are cooler than fans. Yeah, and it's not mechanical, you don't have any noise, that's why I'm thinking about that. I agree. We're also thinking about a possible bathroom. And we don't know if we want to fix that. If nothing else, we'll just wall it up. Rough yeah. Is it rough in here, stubbed up? Or? Mm -hmm. It's got something called ridge vents. It's under, okay. it's under Alex's boxes there, Roger. You need to slide those. They're not, they're not hidden. They just. Oh, yeah. yeah, just Ma'am, if you can, if you can remind me to take a look at your panel before we leave. Okay. The Wherever it is, what I'm looking for is capacity. Okay. Because um, you've asked for outlets. Yeah, there's one outlet up here already. Okay. And there's two light fixtures already. Sure. So, but, um, and one of the things, one of the things I'd like to think about is what you'll use it for, mm -hmm. because that's going to determine how many amps we're going to need to to harvest. Okay. Okay. And I'm, um, I'm well, looking yeah, for available punch outs. Yeah. So if we have, you know, several, then we can make an assumption we have enough to power. Okay. Um, regarding the HVAC, and that is heating and cooling, mm -hmm. are you ha are you in gas? We are gas. Um, we've been actually investigating those ductless systems. Mm -hmm. In fact, I've done a bit of research. There's a couple of people here in Raleigh that do them. Mm -hmm. um, so I just have no idea what the cost of them is yet. That's fine. We can help. Okay. And let, I bet we're interested in the ductless want to get you in the hands of good people. Okay. And I know some good people we work with, and I will ask David okay. and see um, what his expertise is. Okay. Usually bathrooms require some standalone outlets going directly from one point to a breaker without anything coming off of it. Oh, okay. okay. But depending upon your draw, we can either wire wall outlets together and have, for example, one 20 amp circuit power them all. Mm -hmm. But I don't want your breaker trip and every time you turn on the computer plus the TV plus the little standalone fridge. Gotcha. You see, so gotcha. if I have an idea of what you're going to use, I can save you problems later. Okay, that'd be good. That's the fourth thought when you're looking for. Exactly. Right? Well, build with the end in, in mind. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Um, I eventually want it to just be an entertainment type room. This mm -hmm. be a standalone big room and mm -hmm. that be a separate room there. Mm -hmm. In the short term, though, it may need to be used as a bedroom. Mm -hmm. So that's, that's kind of our vision. Sure. Bedrooms require less power. Do they? Mm -hmm. oh, okay. Because usually it's a room with a bed and a dresser, chest of drawers, and one outlet, which you can power with. A computer. <laughs> depending upon how diverse. Yeah. And yeah. Yeah. I'm also interested in some passageways into the storage back here, at least yeah. for now. So sure. I don't know what that means as far as I don't want a formal door because I don't want to be looking and seeing a door, but some kind of way to pass through and mm -hmm. store a little bit of this stuff back there. The scuttle doors is, is typically the way we do that, <clears throat> and it really is. It's a little door. Mm -hmm. And in your situation, you can have a little bit bigger little door. Okay. And you can put a little bit bigger stuff. Okay. 
some right. supplies out here. That, that, so I'm, just that I'm definitely interested in being able to get to this space back here. Because mm -hmm. I, I suppose the wall will go here, right? So Against, on both I think Roger calls those yeah. a hip wall. Really yeah. But that, that's where the actual wall to the mm -hmm. room will go. Mm -hmm. okay. Yeah, and we can put it against what you currently have without adding the cost of framing more. Okay. You want to get in there and wiggle things a little and make sure they're secure, but they look really good. Yeah. Well, there's. it's been used for storage mm -hmm. for 15 years, so uh, we're not doing anything else. Mm -hmm. Okay. We just recently put this uh, liner in here to try to keep with the keep the heat down. Mm -hmm. It's helped some, but hopefully in the long run it will. Oh, yeah. I do have this big space over here that will just, nothing purposeful except just put the walls in. Mm -hmm. So. Yeah, but it's nice light. It is, it is. So I don't want to lose that. I don't want to mm -hmm. close it off or anything. Mm -hmm. There is one thing about this place. We have one little window here, mm -hmm. one little window here, and then that. Mm -hmm. That's all we have up here. Mm -hmm. so. And that's kind of the way every attic looks. I lived in a room like this when I was a young and yeah, mm -hmm. I lived in an attic room too when I was a kid. And it was uh, it wasn't this this spacious by any stretch. Yeah, but it was similar. Yeah, well, it's it's a good bit of square mm -hmm. foot. So mm -hmm. let me get in the middle of this and see okay. what they're they're talking about. Right. This here would have to come off just 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 from this point forward because you would need to have that R value even if that has an R value. It wouldn't probably be enough. What was the R value on that stuff? You remember? Uh, it's probably on the papers I kept. I can probably get it. Hidden ceiling is not 30, is it? R30. I think it was. Okay. Yeah. yeah it's 30. But I know it has R value. It's R30 at an angle like this. It's actually, I think it's R38 on something like this now. I think they changed it. Okay. I know they've increased those. So. Yeah, but on a, on, a, on, a four lap, on a 45 or an angle like this, you know, you can get by with R30. And you can get that nine and a quarter. They got a condensed, you know, condensed mm -hmm. insulation. You can get. Okay, so the first project leads to find the R value on the silver. Mm -hmm. I get it. But, you know, I mean, you still would have to get the insulation behind that. One up below it. Or below it, either way. Mm -hmm. Yeah, but you still have to get it up in there. Well, because we have put this up there, I don't want it to be torn out and be wasted. Oh, yeah. Well, it would just be this whole section right here, and you might be able to just take it and But those rafters, they come from down there, they go straight down to there. So what you got is you got the airflow going straight up. That's why I want the ridge cap up there. Ridge cap. Mm -hmm. So if you delete this R value here, or if you delete that, then you, then you, then you cut off your airflow. That yeah. would have defeated the purpose of putting that up there. Yeah, now your airflow goes from here all the way to the top, the to the top mm -hmm. yeah. and from the, from, the, from the eaves all the way up. That and that would eliminate that. You'd have your your ridge vent for this space, but this space would have to be vented at that point. It you'd has, have, it, has have, it has eaves. Well, it had to, you'd have to, you probably wouldn't be a bad idea to put some roof vents in here, because then you know, see what you're saying. Mm -hmm. You're closing mm -hmm. these spaces mm -hmm. off. Now they're separate. Mm -hmm. I was hoping to keep it together just a little. I don't see how you're going to do that with the code. Do you? Your existing rafters would carry your your structural, and the only way is that I would see is that if you attach on the outside, like you mentioned. But if you did that, then you would would have to put in a rafter going from Joyce Point, and that would carry. Those, those rafters go from the top down. Yeah, but see if that's your, if if this is your ceiling, we put sheetrock on that, mm -hmm. or, or drywall on top of that, and then. Um, I, I've never seen this done. I'm just thinking out loud, problem solving. But but you need something to put on here with insulation behind it on top of this, and 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 take a rafter to that that jack stuff. So, in other words, if you wanted to leave that space that you have right there behind that and leave this, you have to come out. You'd have to you'd have we, whatever this air value is. Say it's five. You'd still have to come up with the R25 on top of this. So this would have to be built down to that point mm -hmm. if you wanted to leave that cavity. Okay. That would be the better idea. So it would be intact and I'd have the double double value of it. Mm -hmm. I'd have the airflow up top, which would make good would be one space for the rich ridge, ridge vents. Mm -hmm. And I'd have plenty of insulation inside here too then. Wouldn't mm -hmm. that be the better way, I think? Sure. Well, probably the more expensive way, knowing my luck, but possibly because you gotta frame out again. You still have to add rafters anyway, so we would have to add the ceiling choices, yeah. Mm -hmm.
do it, mm -hmm. you know, you'd, you'd be losing headspace here, mm -hmm. which you have headspace, so it's just totally up to you. The only problem would be getting something up. Mm -hmm. The only other thing that I can possibly think of that might be a problem is I'm not sure on the specs on this thing. I probably would like to look at them because, you know, this is this is like a vapor barrier. So whatever we do here, obviously, you probably wouldn't want to put a vapor barrier on the insulation that we put up. Mm -hmm. And then can you put insulation over top of this? I mean, I'd want to see some According kind of to what the guy told me, you can. You can. Mm -hmm. The, uh, it's just, the way it's put up is designed.